Well, we've told you about the man who's running 555 miles on the Empire State Trail. He just passed through Utica earlier today, and our reporter Corina Gary caught up with him. Take a look. While the rest of us have spent the last few days complaining about the intense heat, Wei Law has been running 55 miles a day in it. Wei is running the Empire State Trail in honor of his good friend Dennis Almodovar's father, Ruben Almodovar, who passed away in 2017 after a battle with Parkinson's disease. Wei is running to raise money for the Thomas Hartman Center for Parkinson's Research at Stony Brook University and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I didn't choose to do it in this type of condition, but at the same time, I feel that, you know, life is life. You, sometimes you just don't have choice. You just push on. Wei began his journey from Buffalo on Friday and has hit a few setbacks on his run so far. One night, he had to sleep under a bridge as he struggled to find a good place to set up camp. And the extreme heat and unpredictable weather have put him behind his original schedule. Wei also had issues with the newly constructed trail near Lock 20 in Marcy due to ongoing construction and the lack of signs indicating the correct route. But his optimism and people's encouraging words and generosity have kept him going. Riding by, coming by, and then as soon as they passed me, they realized that's me. They turned back and said, good luck. I was like, oh, that cheered me up. His 555-mile trek has taken him through parts of New York he's never been to and brought him in contact with new people who showed him the far-reaching impact that Parkinson's disease has on people and their families. Then turned out that a lot of them, you know, are having the, you know, connection to Parkinson's disease, which is, you know, what I want to learn about it, you know, that's part of the, the mission of my journey, basically. Originally, Wei had hoped to reach Battery Park by Sunday, July 4th, but now it looks like he'll be there by Monday, July 5th. Reporting in Utica, I'm Karina Gary, 